Glenn Glazer and Glenn. So many people are watching this storm closely basically to see if it will have any impact on us if it yeah. actually makes its way into the Gulf of Mexico and reemerges. Yeah, I, and it's very confusing because we typically don't talk about the Pacific very much because those storms don't usually impact us at all. So I've gotten a lot of social media questions saying, why are we talking about the Pacific? It's because this could become more of an Atlantic Basin storm, but not the same storm. Its remnants could move up into the Gulf of Mexico, Western Caribbean, and maybe become Alex, which is the first name storm for the Atlantic Basin before this coming weekend. Right now, it is moving inland over southern Mexico. Right now, it made landfall as a powerful Category 2 storm. Lots of flooding expected there. Just a terrible situation in southern Mexico. As it moves up to the north a little bit, it's going to weaken and fall apart. Hurricane Center has given it a 40% chance for redevelopment of at least what's left of it up here anywhere from the Bay of Campeche, which is the southern Gulf of Mexico, over the Yucatan Peninsula and over into the Western Caribbean. Here is the European model for this. Now, there's a lot of different computer models we look at. European is typically one of the most reliable. That being said, none of the computer models are doing a really good job right now because mainly they don't know whether it's actually going to redevelop or not as we make our way into this coming week. Let me do this. I want to put the European model into motion for you. And as we do that, you'll see it starts to move up to the north over the Yucatan Peninsula. And here's Friday, and it starts to bring more moisture into South Florida. This is just one track. It could very well just die over southern Mexico and that would be the end of it. But if it moves up this direction, it could be a wet Friday and Saturday for us and then a drier Sunday. We'll watch it for you and let you know what's going on. We'll know a lot more by Wednesday when the remnants reemerge over open water here. All right, let's take a look at what's happening locally. Jupiter Inlet looking nice right now. We had a nice end to the day and not so great beginning of the day with all the rainfall that moved in along the coast. We've got temperatures in the low 80s across the whole area right now. And we've got quite a bit of rainfall over on the west coast of Florida. Showers and thunderstorms there. And it'll be a very similar scenario tomorrow which is why we have the risk for strong to severe thunderstorms isolated inland tomorrow afternoon, but we could see a few strong storms along the coast in the morning tomorrow. So same thing as today, morning rainfall on the coast, afternoon rainfall farther inland and over to the west coast of Florida. This big trough moving on in, helping to stir up the atmosphere tomorrow morning and afternoon. A little quieter Wednesday and Thursday with about a 30% chance for rain. And then, of course, we'll turn our eyes to what's left of Agatha to see what happens for Friday and Saturday. Here's a quick look at the beach and boating forecast. Small craft caution. Rip current risk is moderate. Water temperature is warm. 81 degrees right now along our area beaches. Coastal storms overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. A warm and humid night ahead. So we have the morning rainfall on the coast afternoon inland storms and there's enough instability in the atmosphere that any of those thunderstorms could be on the stronger side when they develop tomorrow. So we'll keep our eyes on that. It's about a 40% chance for rain, 30% on Wednesday and Thursday as some slightly drier air starts to move in and then big question marks for next weekend as we head into Friday and Saturday. We could see these rain chances go up if the remnants of Agatha move up toward Florida. We could see the rain chances go down if that doesn't happen or if the remnants end up south of Florida, then we end up on a little bit of a drier pattern as we get into Friday and Saturday and even Sunday. Uh, regardless, I do think rain chances will go down again Sunday and Monday of next week. We're going to post a lot about this storm on social media and we'll bring you up to date every single newscast. That's a look at your first morning forecast.